Howdy, 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 my beautiful Leo. How are you doing, darling? My name is Simply Valka, and today we're going to get into your weekly tarot reading, Leo, for August, all right? So if you enjoy this tarot reading today, let me know in the comments below, Leo, how this reading helps you out, darling, all right? As well, give this video a like and subscribe, all right? Because it helps me out. It's completely free to do, and I really appreciate those that do it. And again, let me know in the comments below, Leo, how this helps you out, because I love, I, first of all, full bias, darling, happy birthday to my Leos, but I love me a Leo. I have so many Leos in my life, um, <clears throat> especially Cynthia. Shout out to Cynthia. So uh, yeah, today, uh, Leo, we're going to be getting into three rows for you. Your first row, darling, we're going to be getting into the person that's on your mind right now. All right. And then in your second row, uh, Leo, we're going to be getting into uh, what you need to hear currently. All right. What do my Leos need to hear today? And then in your third row, Leo, we're going to be getting into some predictions for you, darling. All right. See what's going to be happening. All right. The future is never solid, Leo, but I can, if you continue down the path that you have been going, I can make some pretty solid predictions for you. All right. Because <clears throat> it is my job to do that, darling. All right. So in the back of the deck here, Leo, you have here the five of wands here. Oh. <laughs> All right. My regulars already know, Leo. I'm not a big fan of this energy. This is my least favorite card. I know a lot of people don't care about the tower card knock on wood that's not wood but <laughs> knock on wood that y'all don't get that such a uh, now i'm going you call you such a tears knock on wood leo but with this five of wands energy here this is like a sense of obstacles all right be careful about people trying you leo i feel like people are going to be trying you it's like someone needs to be reminded who the heck you are leo all right i feel like you're gonna end up having to put someone in their place here all right i feel like you're gonna be giving someone a wake-up call leo all right and i also feel like when it comes to your obstacles that are coming in for you and that you have been dealing with leo i feel like the obstacles the way that you answer these obstacles is again the sense of more empowerment all right for many of you guys uh leo you might be in this place of being like oh, like something happens in your life and you're just like i don't know what to really do you might have even ha it might have even instilled some doubt in you leo continue on continue going forward you don't need to change anything about yourself face these challenges head on and you're going to remain uh be victorious here because i'm being shown um you know the olympic standings where it's just like third place second place and first place i see you standing at the top i see you emerging victorious here leo all right so whatever the case is here i don't like this five of wands energy but i see you guys pre uh girl i see you guys handling it pretty well here so let's get into the person that's on your mind right now leo because this is really interesting you have both the knight of potions as well as candles coming in with the hanged man so the person on your mind right now this is where i feel like you're checking somebody all right i feel like when it comes to this person here at least how you're feeling towards them here it's like that sense of where you need to give them a wake-up call because it's like what it is that they're doing or the way that they're coming towards you is not is not it all right i mean you have that hanged man coming in here it's almost as if for you sagittarius it's like show me that's what i keep on hearing it's like show me you care show me that you want me show me that there's that you even think of me here right i think i called you sagittarius <laughs> i apologize leo <laughs> But it's just like, yeah, for you, Leo, it's like you want someone, you're tired of people saying things to you, but not actually taking action. And I feel like when it comes to this person, Leo, you kind of been at your wits end where it's just like, you know, what? I'm tired of banking on potential. I'm tired of the words. Show me the action. Show me these things that you keep on saying are so good. You know, <laughs> I'm even being shown like... <laughs> like someone handing their phone to you. You might be even having trust issues with this person here, Leo. Whatever the case is, I feel like the way that you're seeing them is at this place of where it's just like you want them to show them, like prove themselves to you. But I feel like on some level, you already kind of doubt them. You're like, eh, they're not going to they're not going to do what they need to do here. All right. So what happened in this connection here, uh, Leo? What's been going on, especially during your birthday month? Uh uh, uh uh, Leo. Absolutely not, darling. Uh -uh. All right, you got the five of needles here, the five of swords here. Disrespect, disregard is what I'm seeing here, Leo. I'm going to be honest here. I feel like whoever this person is, they're very self-centered here. It's like they will say what they need to say, Leo, to get what it is that they want. And then when they're confronted with it, when they're confronted with the bill, then you're just like, ugh. it's like they order all these things leo they are so complicated with the waiter they're just like oh like all these asking for all these specials and then when the bill comes they're just like oh you know like i don't know i don't know it's gonna be that much and just like trying to back out of it like very immature 
but it's like they put themselves in these situations but then i even hear like this victim mindset here leo it's almost as if they they're feeling bad and sorry for themselves for the situation they put themselves in it's just it's just like that sense of being like oh this bill is 500 dollars. how is this fair it's just like girl you ordered the wine you ordered the bottle i told you not to get appetizers and you got three and a dessert for later right it's like they dug they dug this hole for themselves leo and you're at this point where it's just like you know what you get yourself show me that you can get yourself out of that hole i feel like for you you're just like fed up with somebody you're just like you know what you like bless your heart darling like you may have uh you may <laughs> that's the thing about this leo it's just like i don't know if they're just younger or immature or something but i see you just looking and she's like you know what bless your heart darling but you are just not it like i feel like you're just like in this process of just like bye <laughs> all right ten of can yeah you are just fed up with this here leo uh how is this person feeling i don't feel like we need to go into more about like what happened or anything that how is this person feeling towards you uh leo that's what i'm interested in here but it's just like this person is making their bed and now they're, they're crying because they have to sleep in it and it's just like girl get over yourself there's this five of wands once again <laughs> this person is so is just like oh my gosh and then this seven of swords all right leo i'm gonna be very honest here run the other way as much as you can darling as a tarot reader we're seeing nothing but red flags here this is nothing but a walking red flag this is just screaming to run the other way here this person it's like all right i'm gonna give that restaurant scenario again because again i feel like they are the one like they enjoyed it until they have to pay for it right they ordered the appetizers they got the filet mignon <laughs> i don't know how to say it properly filet mignon um anyways i'm not gonna sit on that because i'll obsess over having to say it properly but it's like they ordered all this stuff then they get the bill and from this response here leo from this response here they're just like oh can you pay i forgot my wallet darling don't don't because this is like very shady energy this like with that seven of swords Leo, this is very shady energy where it's just like they will answer their obstacles and take care of these obstacles in whatever way that they need to, right? I mean, even you look at this artwork in specific, I believe this is the, I never watched this movie, it's, I think it's A Nightmare Before Christmas. You look at it and it's like this person's choking him out and you have this little boy over here is like, girl, what you doing, right? I'm like, why are you acting this way here? <laughs> I feel, I don't know. I just don't have a good feeling about this, Leo. Whoever this person is on your mind here, obviously this is not going to be for some, like if this is your mama. I mean, I mean, maybe some of y'all's mama's like that. I don't know. But like, I don't know. I just don't trust this energy here. I feel like they made their bed and now they have to sleep in it. But because they have to sleep in it, they're just like finding any way possible to avoid that, even if it's throwing you under the bus. And my regular Leos know, darling, I'm not someone that's very much so about the drama. You know, when it comes to my readings, I'm very much so introspective. I like reflecting. You know, I like those pep talks here. This was anything but a pep talk. This is literally just like the sense Leo is just like, darling, if you still continue on with this person here after seeing all these red flags, darling, you either must be colorblind, honey. You either must be, I don't know, a masochist or something. I just don't. Ugh. Ugh. and usually i'm really like with my optimistic nature leo i'm always giving people the benefit of the doubt this i'm just like girl bye grow up you know just because your parents didn't discipline you you're probably a mama's boy nothing wrong with being a mama's i'm a mama's boy hello you're probably a mama's boy though that and your mama never disciplined you it shows you never got you never got whoopings as a kid and it shows you never had to do anything as a kid and it shows all right your mama probably already did everything for you that's what i get with this energy here very sheltered very self-centered very much so only child syndrome or like baby of the family or something or like the star child like it's just this person needs to grow that all right and you don't need to be part of that process all right this is not your job you are not their mama you are not their daddy <clears throat> even if they want to call you that in bed honey all right i don't want to hear it <laughs> all right leo so let's get into uh what you need to hear right now all right, you have here the Seven of Potions, the Four of Swords here, as well as the Emperor card stepping forward to you. What you need to hear right now is you need to consider other options here. That's going to make you feel more empowered. That's going to make you have more peace, Leo, in your life here. Because that's what I'm hearing here. For you, this is time to start looking for greener pastures, right? 
this is like a sense of where maybe for some of you guys, you don't want to just call it quits or move on from certain situations because you're worried about having like the grass is greener syndrome. But in this reality here, darling, again, I'm assuming you're colorblind because you're ignoring all these red flags here. <laughs> yeah, honestly, this camera angle makes it look like I have such a long arm. Come on now. Um, you may be colorblind, darling. All right. But I promise you, from one colorblind person to another, I can tell you that there are greener pastures at the very least. <laughs> Honestly, this is literally like the blind leading the blind, right? When we're both colored. I'm roasting you about being colorblind and I can't even tell my colors. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, this is a time for you, uh, Leo, to just consider greener pastures here. And this is a confirmation that there are. All right. Emperor energy. I don't feel like you're going to be able to get out of your situation unless you make the choice to. All right. For some of you uh, non-confrontational Leos, if those even exist, like, let me know, Leo. If you're non-con, no, no shade at all, darling. Right. I have no business judging a Leo when I don't even have Leo on my chart. But I, under my assumption, I just always think of Leos to be just very confrontational. All right. And confrontation doesn't always mean it's a bad thing. It could be confrontation. Like you always speak your piece. I feel. But uh, Leo. I feel like this is a time of where you're not going to be able to move on from this. Like, they're not going to make the choice. All right. They're like, this is this energy here is going to consistently take you for granted until you start finally have a say. And you're like, you know what? Enough, darling. And you choke them out. All right. I feel like what you need to hear right now, Leo, is that it's in it's important for you to just be like, hey, it's my birthday month and you need to act accordingly. All right. I feel like for some of you Leos, you need to be okay with commanding more respect, having a higher standard here. All right. I even get for some of you Leos, it's like someone like, let's just say, for example, it's like your birthday comes around. Someone just gives you like a gift that you saw at the Dollar Tree or the Target clearance. All right. And you're just like, hey, darling, how are you going to just get me something from the Target clearance thing when I have spent so much money on I gave you $100 last week? right and i helped you out so much all right and i know just spare me the details in the comments below leo about being like i'm just grateful someone gets me a gift and you, that's not the, that's not one of the point i'm trying to get across here i just feel like people could do more for you but they're not going to do more for you unless you demand it unless you make it a non-negotiable that's what it is making it a, a non-negotiable to respect you that's what you need to do all right and if, it, if they're not able to respect you that's when you consider greener pastures all right Let's get into your Oracle cards. Let's do one bridge shuffle here. Leo, I don't know why I keep wanting to call you Sagittarius. I've been doing that with all the signs today. <laughs> I apologize. All right. So you have number 33, write down the number 33 for later. Uh, Leo, see how that number numerology represents you. Joyful muse, inspiration coming in here. All right, inspiration. I feel like once you start going to greener pastures, uh, Leo, you're going to be that's where the inspiration comes here. This is really just another sign, uh, for you, Leo, to go to those greener pastures because if you have been feeling like depressed or just uninspired, maybe just generally bored with living, I know that sounds super depressing, um, but I get like that message of where it's just like you're just bored with being alive, like nothing is exciting is happening, nothing fun is happening. There's a lot of exciting things always happening in the world, especially nowadays, like always on the brink of World War Three, it seems, but it's like you're just bored with life, like there's nothing that excites you getting up in the morning here interesting all right first of all i want you to acknowledge here leo two different decks all right two different decks all right you see this is the deck i'm pulling from now all right this is the deck i was just using you know two different decks here i say this call the muse two muses what are the chances here leo call it the muse <sighs> there's new inspiration here for you all right, there's new inspiration that's going to be coming here for you. Something's going to be inspiring you and giving you new life. Something's going to give you the inspiration of waking up in the morning. All right. But you have to go to greener pastures. You have to you have to be the one to kind of exude that eight of cups energy to be a girl. <laughs> I don't know how I guess we're taking these because I, I normally don't. But I don't know how that even happened. So I'm just taking that as a sign. What was I even saying, Leo? I feel like, yeah, it's just like, like the sense is just like whatever, by you going to greener pastures, you being bored with your life, that's no longer going to be relevant because of like inspiration. That's why you're fe probably feeling bored or just like 
not motivated with being alive. Again, it sounds depressing, but y'all know what I mean. Because it's like, it's time for you to move on. It's time for you to go to a different pasture. You got what you could get from your current situation. It's time to move. You have the full moon in Taurus, detoxify here. All right. You have the new moon in Virgo. Trust all will be well. Okay. And attend to the details. The last quarter moon in Virgo. Interesting. You just got all earth signs here. Virgo, Virgo, and Taurus here. Detoxify. Trust all will be well and attend to the details. So attending to the details just so that you can tr uh, detoxify and trusting that all will be well from that. So I feel like it's really important for you to make a transition in your life here if you're feeling really uninspired even in the workplace all right you know there's a saying that i want i feel inspired to say for y'all uh leo where it's just like if you stay at a job for longer than two years after the two years you're losing out on money because uh you could go to another job and ask for a much higher pay with the experience that you got from your prior job all right so that's this that's a saying that uh, a lot of business people will say it's just like if you've been out of a job for two years look for another one if they're not giving you like ample raise obviously i'm not a business advisor but like that's like the general thing and that what that's what makes me think here is where it's just like you've been in a place in your life with a person with a job whatever the case is whatever your business is leo for an extended amount of time you, by you choosing to stay from this point forward you're just losing out you're losing out on money you're losing out on potential for other people you're losing out on emotions all right so that's what i got for you on rat darling leo all right so let's get into your predictions now darling you have the full temperance as well as queen of <laughs> queen of presence for you <laughs> all right so leo you're going to be having that fresh start here as i said here we were talking about greener pastures from all of this here bam this full energy is represented if i can show you by the Girl, that doesn't even have the number zero. I, you're going to have to just take my word for it. I don't care at this point. Normally in the other, yeah, you can see in the other artwork, like the other cards, Temperance, this is uh, 16, right? The Fool is associated with zero. They just decided not to put zero. So I point this out because it's like uh, the Fool represents starting on a new journey, not bringing much along with you, but starting on a new journey. All right. So it really aligns with your Oracle cards here. I feel like it's like the reason why you're feeling so uninspired is because it's time for you to move on here. And I see this opportunity, this new journey coming forward to you. Not right immediately here. I don't feel like it's going to happen this week, Leo. I feel like it's the intention. It's by putting it out there, by having it known. That's how you start getting the wheel of fortune to start turning. All right. It's through the intention. It's through the awareness. It's through the initial being like, all right, it's time for me to start looking for greener pastures. That's that is what's going to get the ball going. All right. That's what's going to get the ball going when it comes to the situation here. All right. But I do see that there, like this is a direct confirmation here, Leo, of that there is, in fact, greener pastures where you will be fat and happy essentially here, right? Where you get to eat. Like you find pa pastures that allow you to have a greater crop and just, you know, be like fully sustained, right? So that's what I got with you on that here, Leo. Thank you so much, darling, for allowing me to do this reading for you. I apologize. It was a little bit all over the place, but um, I don't know. I've been having a lot more fun with my readings now. I decided to just stop being so just about the tarot and giving the message and just being okay with showing my personality and having more fun with this. All right. I've been doing this for how many years now, darling? It's about time. So I love you so much, Leo. And I just called you Sagittarius. I apologize. <laughs> this is my cue to go. I love you so much, Leo. Thank you so much for listening. Uh, if this resonated with you, give this video a thumbs up and um, subscribe. It's completely free. Let me know in the comments below. If you want to book a reading with me, Leo, my website's linked down below. Simply Velka. Dot com next to my social medias tiktok instagram and facebook all of them just being simply Velka. same as here darling all right so i love you so much hopefully i can connect with you sometime in the near future darling bye leo